Well, this is my first attempt at making an electronic synthesizer. Let me just show you what it sounds like. So I've made the synthesizer out of wood and I've used, I'll go over the components in a moment, but I've used plastic, six inch plastic rulers for the note bars and then stuck neoprene from a wetsuit on top here. I've used an Arduini board underneath to create MIDI and underneath every single ruler is a piezo element which is then wired to the Arduini board and the Arduini board generates MIDI signals which goes to a box which I'll show you in a moment and I've added in an LED display here so it shows you which which notes you're playing so E, E flat, B flat and so on and the idea is that this is an octave and then I'll create more octaves which will go side by side and connect together and then you can change using these buttons here um, the octave so this is an octave lower This is two octaves lower, so you can add up different octaves together. There we go, like that. And then we can go up as well, so back to zero and up an octave. Or even a higher. <laughs> and even a higher, it goes up to five. So it's the four MIDI range. Four MIDI range, get four. That sounds like three, five. I'm not sure what's happening there, but... Like that. In this video, I'm just going to talk about how I've built the xylophone. And then in subsequent episodes or subsequent videos, I'll show you how we can build one together. So I want to build more modules. Now at the back of this, there are two leads. There's this lead here, which is providing just standard USB power from this little, little connector here. So that's USB. And then this one is straight MIDI. MIDI out, which is going up to this particular sound module here, which is quite cool. It's a Hona sound module. I think the, there it is, MIDI sound expander, MSC, well it's not standard MIDI but it generates some nice sounds. So for example, we can go for, that was Vibe, but if I went for, let's see, if I went for something different like bass, yeah there, bass, there we go, so I've gone for bass, so now back to here, because it's MIDI you can have any sound module, so we've got bass here. There we go, brilliant. So let's talk about the components of the xylophone. At the heart of the xylophone is an Arduino board, a bit like this one. The one I've used is actually uh, an Arduino Mega board because it has 16 inputs and from this xylophone there are 12 inputs for the chromatic notes in an octave so this little board here is a bit too small but we use the Arduino Mega board and then then we use rulers just 60, 6 inch plastic rulers which are turned upside down to make the note the tone board or the tone the notes the tone boards and we use one colour for the black and one colour for the white but we've covered those over which I'll explain later on and what we've done then is to attach a piezo element like this one to the back of the ruler and then connected that to this Arduino Mega board or an Arduino Mega board um, with a few bits and pieces in between resistors and so on but I'll come on to that later on and then then coming out of the serial port of this is general MIDI which we then connect to a kind of a din out plug uh, which then comes out like this and that can go into any MIDI tone generator 
so it's quite flexible. The Arduino itself is powered by USB, so that's an easy thing to do. And then the notes themselves. So I did actually originally have just rulers because I thought the cool colours were quite cool, but they make quite a, a noise when you're playing them, and also they don't give a good fi feel. So I've got I managed to get some neoprene from wetsuits. I've got white. It's supposed to be white, but it's more like a grey grey neoprene which I've stuck on top like that. That gives it a good feel and it's not quite as noisy and it reduces the vibration affecting other tone bars. So we've got white neoprene on here and then black neoprene on here. If we look at the xylophone module in detail we can see it's a wooden frame but you can see the rulers here with the neoprene stuck on top. So white rulers for the white notes and obviously black Black neoprene rather and white neoprene for for notes themselves. They're the blue the blue ones. They 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 are connected to to the wood with a little rubber washer in between and then the screws that go through like that. Now what I'll do is I'll open up the back. So I built a frame here for the black notes and a frame here for the white notes and attach the two frames together and then I raise them up a little bit with an extra piece of wood here just so there was enough room to get the componentry inside. Now let's have a look at it. Remember this is a prototype so it's not the greatest and neatest wiring in the world but let's have a look. I've undone the screws from the baseboard here. Take that off. Remember it's not the neatest thing in the world. It's a mass of wiring. You can see that but you can see first of all the, forget my screwdriver, you can see the the, the blue rulers here with the piezo element uh, glued onto the back using super glue and here we've got the yellow note bars with the piezo elements on the back there. Now this is the Arduino Mega board here and this here, I used a breadboard to work out the kind of little circuit diagram and then bought a, a circuit board blank I guess in the same shape as the breadboard and then put the various resistors and so forth on there and then this is a MIDI or a DIN socket so the MIDI cable comes out of here so basically notes or well from the piezo elements is a voltage and a voltage is then delivered into or in, into here a voltage change and then that's turned into MIDI signals which are sent out via here in addition we've got, you can't quite see it, but we've got a a couple of switches which we plugged in for allowing us to change the octave so the plan is to have multiple octave synths stuck together and we can change the different octaves that they play so we get a whole we can have like a four octave synthesizer a four octave xylophone if we wanted and then uh, also a little dot matrix display down here I thought it would be quite useful to display the note name and also obviously which octave you've switched it to so that's what it looks like it's not the most neat of wiring jobs uh, but it, it is a prototype when I build the next octave block which I'll do with you guys on the video we will make it a lot neater in terms of wiring but this was a prototype and I just wanted to see it working and get it going so I'll put I'll cover it back up it's actually quite neat when it's covered back up uh, not so neat when it's exposed there we go to set it up and get it working we just connect the black lead into a USB socket. So I'll stick this in here. Like that. And there you can see it's set up showing octave minus one, not quite sure. That's zero. Okay, and there's the notes. And we can change the octave like that. Okay, and then the blue cable, which is the MIDI cable, needs to go into the back. Back of a MIDI sound generator and I've got this Hona one this is a, a good test just need to make sure I get the lead in the right way around and I'm doing it by feel one two three that's the MIDI in and we go that's in and we've got a little amplifier here We'll turn on and we'll go for the vibe sound. That's it. And that's what we have to do. So now we're ready to go. So we 
give something else like a oh, what's this one here? This one is a I can't quite see that. But it does actually say synth and bass. So subsequent videos will be step by step process on how to build this because I need more modules. I want to build another three modules so I can have a four octave electronic synthesized xylophone. And xylophones, sort of four octave and electronic, are several thousand pounds. Um, I've made this one here, which is an octave for about a hundred pounds. So it's probably going to cost me four hundred pounds to make the whole thing, uh, which I think is brilliant. Anyway, look out for the subsequent videos and like and subscribe.